Shut up. Stop. Talk about the future of my YouTube channel. This is so good. We are in Washington Square Park. It's a sad, sad day. <laughs> Okay, hi, good morning. Uh, there was an earthquake, first of all. Um, I think it's quite sad that the first thought in my mind in New York City was there must be a chemical explosion or something bad happened in Manhattan. So, I don't know, I just never thought I'd experience an earthquake living in New York City. I thought you had to be on the West Coast for that, but I guess I was wrong. Also, I have some packages to open up before we get into today's video. So first of all, I have something from Magic Mind. They sent me this package to try out their, um, I think it's like a coffee replacement, something to help you focus. And so we're just gonna, whoa, uh, what? Wait, this is so cool. Look at that. You know, owning a business, you really like learn to appreciate the packaging and everything that goes into making a product. So I'm really impressed. Yeah, so they reached out to me and asked if I would like to try this to see if it's something um, I would want to recommend. So this is not a recommendation yet. I'm seeing if I like them. Do more, stress less. This sounds right up my alley. Let's try it. I already had um, half of a coffee this morning, so I'm pretty wired from that. But caffeine gives me heart palpitations. And actually, I was just reading, the founder was diagnosed with a heart condition. And so I'm like, well... Maybe this is my answer. Let's see. I'm already cracked out on caffeine though. Maybe I should try this without caffeine. Oh wow. It actually tastes really good. I can taste the passion fruit in it actually. I think that's what I like about it. It has passion fruit. <gasps> Which reminds me, hold on. This. Let me see it. Pattaya Foods. These passion fruit cubes. Let me just open this for you. If you've never had passion fruit in your life and you like sour candy um, or like very sour fruits, you're going to love these. My sister and I are absolutely addicted to them. They just come in these little cubes. They're not just meant to be eaten like a snack. Apparently, I think they're meant to be used in smoothies or in like acai bowls, but I literally just eat them like candy. They're so good. It's literally just seedless passion fruit puree and it has 12 grams of sugar. That's only from the fruit really healthy if you've been wanting to cut back on like um, sour candies try these the last time I went to Whole Foods they were sold out of them and I was so disappointed so anyway wow I'm getting so carried away coffee that's what it does to me I definitely need this from now on second one is an early birthday gift that I bought well my mom bought technically my birthday's not for another month and a half but Okay, this is from Nick Bentel. Ah! Oh my gosh. If you guys recognize this, it looks like, I think it's, what is it, Mendel's, the uh, pastry shop from Grand Budapest Hotel, Wes Anderson's movie that I was really inspired to create our uh, Murmur launch video from. And it says New York City. So now I have a little pastry box to put my croissant in, as well as a little pizza box from Kate Spade that I got last birthday from Jonathan. So now I can hold my pizza. Oh, I just ripped the box. Oh, well. It's the inside box that I care about. Look at that. Like Bentel Studios, he makes the coolest bags. Shut up. Stop. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a Wes Anderson movie. This is amazing. Oh, it comes with a little token. So it just says Nick Bentel Studios, and then it says what number box you have. So I have box 207 out of 300. So it's a limited edition, only has 300 boxes made, and I have one of them. And it is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. How could you not just like want to walk around and just pull out like little pastries from your bag while walking around New York City? Okay, I'm gonna go put it away. I'm so happy. I might buy some more. We'll see. Hey baby, come here. I don't know if you can see him. Say hi to the camera. I just woke him up from a little nap. We adopted him about a week ago and uh, he's just been so precious. But he'll have his own separate introduction video, so just stay tuned for that. 
All right, well, he's fully asleep, so I guess we're just gonna have to stay here. But that's fine, because I wanted to do a little sit-down chat anyway and talk about the future of my YouTube channel. So when I first started my YouTube channel back in 2020, it was kind of just like a fun thing that I had always dreamed about doing. Um, and I didn't really want to be tied down to any specific genre. I'm one of those people that has a million and one hobbies and can't just settle for one. I'm constantly like starting a hobby and then getting bored of it and starting a new one. And because I'm that way, I don't want to feel like tied down and restricted to one thing because YouTube for me was always supposed to be something enjoyable and that would take a lot of the fun away from it for me. So I started off doing mostly baking and cooking and then I transitioned to some ballet vlogs when I went back to work. And then I did some travel vlogs through France and Morocco, which were so fun. But that's that's where the kind of the problem lies here is that if I want to actually grow my channel, I need to kind of focus on one path and not confuse the people that follow me for my travel vlogs when I start posting baking videos or those who wanted to watch ballet videos and are instead getting travel vlogs. And on the same note, some of you might know I recently launched a skincare company with my husband four months ago. So I made a whole like how we started it vlog on that. And so I added this whole nother layer to this ADHD tower of terror. So as you can imagine, just being the two of us starting a whole business on our own, we wear a lot of hats. So my YouTube channel has taken a bit of a hit because of that. And I have made attempts to continue to post and do my normal content, but the last video I posted was my gingerbread house. And I happened to be making that during the week of Black Friday sales. And so as you can imagine, I just completely went way over my head in terms of work and everything. So after that, I I just kind of was like feeling a little bit overwhelmed about filming a YouTube video and posting it because of how much work it would take. I, I love making videos. It's one of my little passions, editing, filming, creating these things. But I often get carried away with the whole like film aspect of things. My YouTube channel is kind of going to transition into more vlog style videos, a little bit more casual. I will try to do less editing. I'm sure editing Emily right now is doing way more than she should for little tiny tweaks that no one will notice. Don't do that. You're still going to see me travel a little bit. You're still going to see me bake a little bit, but everything is going to be more vlog style videos. It's going to be mostly focused on my daily life, what I'm doing to grow this business. You're going to kind of come along with me as Hopefully this business takes off and maybe we eventually move and do some renovations. There I go again. See, I'm getting carried away with ideas. I'm switching gears. <sighs> all right, so who am I and why should you care? You don't have to, first of all. If you want to leave, just leave. But if you want to stay, hi, I'm Emily. Nickname Millie or Millie, I don't care. It's just Emily without the E. Depends, I guess, if you say Emily or Emily. Up to you. Oh, hi, baby. He laid right by the mic, so if you hear purring, it's just, it's just the kitty cat. Can you hear it? What do I like in this world? Oh my gosh, you know what that reminds me of? I've been watching Love on the Spectrum season two. It's so good. Oh, I love it so much. Um, and you know how every time they introduce someone new, they say, this is Emily. She likes da 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 and dislikes da 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 da. It's literally what I'm doing right now. Why am I? <laughs> Emily, what do I like? I think I've already named half of these, but chocolate cake obviously is the first. Uh, I love my cat. I always thought I was a dog person, but turns out I like cats. I love France. My husband's from France. I'm trying to learn French. I've been trying to learn since eighth grade. Am I good? No, but I do. Oh, I, I love skincare and makeup. Oh, Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Crafting. Anything crafting. I don't like sewing. Um, don't like crocheting. I, everything else, I, I like. Painting, I like. Not my forte. I can't really do it. Um, I love baking. Cooking, not so much. And baking in the terms of like the, the decorating side of baking. Um, if I wouldn't have become a ballet dancer, not belly dancer, ballet dancer. I feel like every time I'm talking to someone, they're like, oh, you're a belly dancer? I'm like, no, it's a ballet dancer. So I say classical dancer. Okay, I was a professional classical ballet dancer. If I hadn't become that, I would have either become a vet or something in biology or chemistry. I love science. And I feel like with baking, measuring out all like the little things, I would have been 
an amazing cosmetic chemist. I would have loved my job. Um, I think about that sometimes, honestly. I think about that career path. But I wouldn't have met Jonathan, so I'm thankful for the path I went down. Oh, I love the mountains. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, definitely a mountain over a beach girl. You yeah, know, I can't think of anything else and you're probably bored at this point. So let's get into the juicy stuff. Dislikes. What do I dislike? Um, I dislike a lot of things. I dislike busy places. I hate the sound of chewing. I hate the sound of chewing. Um, certain sounds just like trigger me. You know, misophonia. If you have misophonia, hi, I'm Emily. I hate the sound of chewing and flicking of nails. I hate that. I hate that sound. Oh, I love gardening. Oh my God. Wait, I'm supposed to be doing dislikes. <sighs> I dislike so many things. Why can I not think of anything else? I'm in, I'm in too good of a mood. I think that's why. <laughs> oh, I hate the smell of olives. Hate. Every time I walk in the grocery store and I go past the olive aisle. <sighs> disgusting. Pickles I'm fine with for some reason. Just specifically olives. Don't know why. Even olive oil sometimes. Like if I dip my bread in olive oil, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan. Oh, I hate, I hate when people aren't loyal. I hate when people break my trust. Mm, out. Or when people are fake. Done. All right, well, you're lucky today because I can't think of anything more things I hate, but I'm sure I'll update you if I think of anything. So if you related to any of those things and um, you want to stick around, please do. If you don't, no worries. Um, you're missing out. But that's besides the point. All right, I know you're probably bored out of your minds at this point because I've done nothing but chat about myself, but what are we doing today? So Jonathan and I went out recently and gave out flyers in New York City. I was dreading it, um, first of all. It was a terrible experience. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. It was just, because here's the thing about New Yorkers. They see you with a flyer in your hand and making eye contact with them immediately eyes down darting to the opposite side like they want nothing to do with you i mean i don't blame people like someone has a flyer it's like i don't want your flyer but i tried to make it more interesting so we made lottery cards instead here's what they look like has our website up here a little qr code that brings us to a link tree and then on the back is the part where i put a little scratch sticker um and you can scratch to win so you have a 25 percent chance of winning a 10 dollar gift code a 70% chance of getting a 15% off code and a 5% chance of getting free items. So, you know, if I got this, I would want to at least see what I got. At least we get people to recognize our brand. We get our name Murmur out there. If they see us in an ad or something, which by the way, Facebook ads suck. Suck. Even for the big companies, um, the return on investment for ads just isn't it. So trying to find other ways. And so that's where these scratch cards came in mind. So yeah, Jonathan and I are gonna go out later today to give away more of these cards. I'm really bad at this. He is the pro. He's a charmer for sure. Um, I go, free skin, you no. Know. Mm. Free skin, you no. Know. okay. That's what I do. It's terrifying. So today I'm trying to psych myself up a little bit, do a little vlog, get a little talking in so that maybe I'll have a better chance of giving at least half of my stack away and not just giving it to Jonathan to do. But other than that, I bought these little scratch-off stickers, and I'm just going to put those over the top of these so we can continue to hand out these lovely cards. But that's what they look like when the sticker's on. Oh, no, no. Oh, don't scratch my lens. All right. It's crookie time. I can do Dune. <laughs> I think I summon you. Okay, time to make some cookies. So sorry about the unfortunate angle. You are plugged into the wall because my camera's out of battery and this is the best I could do. So I'm just gonna show you exactly what goes into it if you wanna follow along the recipe. Um, these croissants look incredible. They're the last two? The last two. They were $4.75 each. $4.75. How much cheap. are they in France? One dollar. Euro. So you can get one of these for a euro in France and they're $4.75 in New York City. Times four in America. We should just move to France. You said it. I'm also gonna be sh filming this for a little reel slash TikTok. You're gonna see these move around a lot. Uh, excuse me, this is a, I don't want cat hair in my cookie. 
Okay, so you need 160 grams of chocolate. I only have 100 grams here because that's all I have. And four croissants. The rest I'll call out as I put it in. Half a cup of butter, 75 grams of brown sugar, 50 grams of regular granulated sugar, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add the vanilla extract at this point. Boop. I'm too lazy to get out my stand mixer, so I'm getting a workout. No more. No more. Enough? Does it? No, I only had one. Enough? Does it? Enough? Does it? Enough is enough. <laughs> See? I just made that joke and you just tried to steal it from me. Yeah, I did. It's pretty good. I'm already making jokes in French. That means my level's like at least level one. <laughs> um, yeah, that's one egg if you don't speak French. That looks so good. La farine. 170 grammes de farine. Très bien. 170? Oui? Yeah. Parfait. Thank you. 170 grams of all purpose flour. What is that? Uh, three tablespoons of cornstarch. I don't know how to say cornstarch in French, so I'm not even gonna try. Uh, cornstarch. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, so basically Jonathan found this recipe because a bakery in Paris, apparently, which I'm very shocked about because normally the French are kind of a little off put by American pastries. They're very protective over their patisserie. So normally it's like, ugh, American stuff. But I think they're taking more of a Western approach now. Like American bakeries in France, I think are getting more popular if I'm not wrong. This is a French thing. Crazy, right? Cronut was a French guy in America, but now even people in Paris are trying this out, which is like... Can we just look at that for a second? That looks so good. All right, that's better. I've switched the angle for another shot, and hopefully you can see how I'm putting together my crookies. So I'm gonna cut my croissant in half. What you're gonna do is I would pick the side that's a little bit straighter and cut in from the opposite side because you're gonna wanna keep this um, connected. So it's gonna open up like a book, basically. So now I'm gonna take a nice generous scoop. This is kind of like when um, you make almond croissants. What you do is you take leftover old croissants, you put an almond paste in there and you double bake it. How much is too much cookie dough in here? And the great thing is if you have extra cookie dough um, when you're done, you can make cookies. Win-win. All right, so I just smashed a little bit of cookie dough on the top because an almond croissant normally has that like almondy top as well, so thought it seemed fitting. We'll see. Could be a mistake, but I think I forgot to add salt. Oops. All right, well, here is what they're looking like. Time to go in the oven. Right, hold on. I changed my mind. I just walked over to the oven and I saw my sea salt flakes right here, so they're going on the top. I don't think you're ready for this. Taste test, I've kind of smashed it, trying to get the best cookie angle, but... <laughs> it looks monstrous. Let me just tell you that. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It, Diabetes crookie is what Johnny calls it. Crookie cheers. Crookie cheers. Ching. 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 Yep. Ding. Ding. Bing. Bing. Mmm. Mmm. Our crunches were so in sync. That's so much better than I thought. Okay. It would. Okay. With the cookie? This is absolutely delicious. Right? Are you kidding me? The cookie on top? This, it. If it was just in the middle, wow. it would be un underwhelming. But the cookie on top? Mmm. It's an extra layer of crunch. This is so good. It should it's, be illegal. It should be illegal. It's like an almond wow. croissant in the texture of the inside, but it has a cookie flavor. Holy. Like, right? You're so good. So good. You're so good. I have to say, I, it's probably only good warm. Also, it's very sweet. Like I could only eat half of this. 
maybe not even. And I would kind of have a stomach ache. I think it's only a matter of time before they become available in New York. Yeah, right? Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Did the Corona ever make it to France? I'm not sure, actually. That's a good question. The French are probably like, Corona. But they have a crookie, so... <laughs> now, now what you gonna say? Would you choose the crookie or the Corona? I think I might choose the crookie. Yes, but we would have to try the Corona warm. It's not fair. I don't know, because sometimes I don't like warm, like when it's filled, I don't like the cream to be warm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, you're right. So it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, you're right. You're like right. a cookie and a croissant warm, they're both good. Mm, yeah, you're but right. But like the filling... You heard it from me by Malik herself. Uh -huh. This beats the Corona. It does. Does it beat the classic butter croissant? No. No. No, you can't, huh? No. No. French people, you know, they eat croissant as a breakfast. I can't imagine eating this oh, as no, breakfast. Oh, no, 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 this is not a breakfast. You know what I mean? This is not a breakfast. This is a dessert. 100%. The great thing is you can buy pre-made croissants and pre-made cookie dough, shove them together, and pop it in the oven for guests. Perfect dinner party dessert thing to impress your friends. Right, well, now that we've uh, been all fueled up, we are running a little bit late. We need to head out and hand out these flyers. Yeah, I need dun, to get changed. Dun, dun, dun. How many no's are we gonna get for a hundred yeses? <laughs> we should count That's the this question. Time. Yes. We should make it a game. No. Yes. Yeah, right? No. Oh, you're confusing me. Completely. Okay, we actually have Wait, to go though. Can, can we conclude this? Yeah. By, I, I'm just gonna rate it a TT okay. for my end. How about you? Uh, I rated a TT as well. You heard it from Made by Malie and myself, a 10 out of 10 for those delicious cookies. Yeah, I'll leave the recipe down below, but we have to run. Um, I'm gonna get dressed and then we will meet you when we're about to hand out some lottery cards. Let's go. We are in Washington Square Park. Here's the arch. And we're about to ask people 10 skincare brands for $10 a free or you, free skincare yeah, product. Yeah, $10 or free skincare product. We haven't quite decided, but. Woo. How are you feeling? Not good. <laughs> Courtney's on her way, so she's here to save us. Um, we're also going to try to hand out more of those scratch cards, so. Cross your fingers luck. For us. We're going to do great. It's going to be great. The weather is not on our side, and that's okay. Yeah. We're going to thrive. Thriving. <laughs> I'm asking people if they can guess 10 skincare brands, and in exchange, you get a free skincare product. Nothing to lose. Simple as that. Under a minute? Yes. Okay. Whenever you... 10? Okay. Okay. There's CeraVe. Caudalie. Elemis. That's that's one yes, I've been saying a lot. Okay. Nivea. La Roche-Posay. Um, there's one in Colombia called Atenea. Um, oh my god, this is hard. Euphoria. Um... I, I don't know. This is so hard. Wait, can I take my jacket off? Because my fit goes hard right now. Yeah, you got that. Wait, wait, what are okay, we... uh, Glow Recipe, Neutrogena, Sarah V, uh, Cetaphil, Caudal. Is that what it's called? Quad, Caudal. Caud yes. Okay. Laneige. Um, Lumen? Is that one? Yeah. Um, oh my god, now I'm like blinking. Dior? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, uh, Chanel? Yeah, why not? 
What do I use? Oh my god, lock in, lock in. <laughs> Sephora brand? Yes, that works. That is one. You yes, won. You got it. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You have four seconds. Left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Name 10 different skincare brands. Under 60 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. I get super new. Yeah, let's go. You ready? Yep. Okay. Kiehl's, Neutrogena. La Roche Posay. Nu uh, oh, oh wait, wait. wait. Obaji. What? Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Yeah, you got four. Um, Skin cuticles. Yes. Good molecules. Yes. The ordinary. Oh. Yes. Um, Drunk elephant. Yes. Oh, yes. Garnier, is that how you say it? Oh my gosh. No, way, no, oh way. Um. Three. Three. No way. Oh, <laughs> no way. No way. Oh, so close. Yes, okay. <laughs> I cannot. $10. I cannot oh. believe I did so poorly. You my, did great. My you did fiance great. works at a skincare company. Oh, oh, I should yeah. have been better. I was. That's why I was like, what are the samples I have? I had, I blanked. Do we 